Welcome to the Visual Analytics Getting Started video. Visual Analytics is the process of gaining knowledge and insight from data from interactive visual interfaces. This video covers the fundamentals on working with marks and building views. You can download the exercise workbook to follow along in your own copy of Tableau. There are two ways to start analyzing data in Tableau. You can either jump in and start exploring, or you can ask questions of your data and attempt to answer them. We'll start by asking of this data set, Superstore, what are our sales like over time? If we simply double click sales and order date, Tableau uses best visual practices to create a timeline and we can see our sales are increasing over time. Note that the mark type here says automatic. This illustrates how thinking of a practical question can be a good starting point for analysis and how Tableau we'll try to automatically leverage best practices using the fields we're interested in. We could change this to be another mark type if we had reason to do so. There's a long list of mark types available to work with, each of which has specific characteristics. One thing to note is that if the mark type is automatic, it may change as the view is modified. Let's ask another question. What is the relationship between shipping cost, double click to bring that out, and profit, double click again. This time, we're given what looks like the start of a scatter plot. However, Tableau is aggregating our data to the overall sum of shipping cost and the sum of profit. So we have one mark, sum of profit by sum of shipping cost. If we'd like to see more marks, we can either disaggregate the data by going to the analysis menu and unchecking aggregate measures to see each row of data plotted as a point, or we can bring out another field into the view to change our breakdown of marks. This is an important concept in Tableau. Measures here are automatically aggregated to the granularity of the view. The granularity is set by the dimensions and how they're asked to interact with the marks. For example, if we bring category to color, we now get a uniquely colored mark per category. If we bring another field, say market to shape, we get a mark per category per market for a total of 21 marks down here in the bottom left. Dimensions define the number of marks. It's easy to change our minds and color by something else. If we wanted to have order priority on color instead, we could drop it on that category pill with the color icon. Note that when we added order priority to color, we wound up with a mark per order priority per market for a total of 28 marks. There are four levels of order priority and only three product categories. So we wind up with more marks when we use order priority instead of product category. Again, dimensions define the number of marks or the granularity of the view. When we hover over the legend for order priority, note that the highlight icon is blue. This means that highlighting is on for order priority. If we click on a priority, say critical, Tableau will lighten the other colors to pull out the critical orders visually. The market legend does not have highlighting turned on. If we click on Africa, nothing happens, except the highlighting went away. Clicking on the highlight icon turns this feature on. Now Africa will highlight the marks in the view. Highlighting can be a great way to call attention to specific marks. In dashboards, Highlighting actions can provide interactivity. In Stories, highlighting can be saved to preserve a specific selection by updating the point. If we want to make marks at a certain granularity, but without encoding by something like color, we can bring the field to the level of detail shelf, such as country. This view may not be very analytically useful, but we can now see how our marks behave as we add dimensions to the view and interact with the marks card. It's important to know how adding dimensions to the marks card impacts the visual. The better understanding we have over this behavior, the more precisely we can build graphs manually or leverage what Tableau can do automatically. Another way to get started with visual analysis is to use Show Me. Control click or option click on a Mac the multiple fields you want to use. Here we'll use the same ones we were just working with, and then open Show Me. 
here we can see the one-click graphical options for representing the fields we selected. The blue box indicates visual best practices. Remember, Show Me is just a starting point for creating visual analysis in Tableau. Once we have the basis of our visualization, we can use the marks card and many other features of Tableau to modify the view and make it exactly what we want. Thank you for watching the Visual Analytics Getting Started video on working with marks. We invite you to continue with the Visual Analytics series to learn more.